Hey guys, it's Melissa K, and I'm back with another video. So I'm about to run into the grocery store real quick. Um, I'm actually going to be making um, a vegan uh, potato corn chowder soup this week. I'm kind of tired of eating the same thing um, over and over and over again um, for my meal preps. Pretty much been eating like um, zucchinis and mushrooms and zucchini mushrooms. And there was something else I eat all the time. What is it? Zucchini mushroom. Oh yeah, and greens. <laughs> So this week, um, I'm just gonna be snacking on soup and I decided to do um, a complex carb soup only because I'm gonna be doing a lot of running this week. So I think it'll be good to give me the extra energy that I need. So yeah, so um, I'm at um, this grocery store that sells um, organic corn. Most of the stores I go to, they don't sell <laughs> organic corn. Um, this one does. I don't know if it's really organic or not, but I just have to take the word for it. It's in the frozen aisle. So. I love your lip gloss. Oh, thank you. Let me come down so can get by. Okay. I had to let the baby kids go by. <laughs> Sister had a whole bunch of kids. Alright, so um oh they don't have the corn. I'm in the wrong aisle. Hold on. So I was looking at Ste actually Stephanie told me about this recipe, guys. Um she was gonna make the corn chowder for me the last time she came over. Um, but I went ahead and got, did the lentil soup instead. Um, yeah, so I was looking up the recipe for the vegan corn chowder and I saw vegan potato corn chowder. So I said, let me, I think I'll go with that one instead. Let me get the corn, excuse me. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what the vegan corn looks like. Hopefully they still have it. Not the vegan corn, the organic corn. This is it right here. It's by Wild Harvest. You see organic corn on the top. Free from pesticides, grown without synthetic fertilizers, and persistent pesticides. That's what it says. So I'm going to get um, two pack of these. I wonder if I should get three packs because I'm going to be eating this soup for the next four or five days. So, um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might get, I'm just going to get three. They're like $3.55 um, for each pack. So, I just got three of them. And I got um, purple potatoes at home. So that's what I'm gonna use for my potatoes. Um, and then in the recipe also calls for a cashew. Um, so that'll be my protein component. And there's some, some of these recipes have cream, um, coconut as the filler or as the base. So I'm going to just get a couple cans of coconut just in case I wanna like tweak my recipe a little bit. So right now I'm about to go get, oh, I don't know if I wanna do cashew milk because they said they wanted me to blend out the cashews for thickness, but the thing is I feel like the potato will be thick, will make it thick, so I don't know. So I need to go to the nut aisle. So let me do that. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna go to the coconut section.
Somebody actually just said they like my lip gloss and I thought, <laughs> when I put it on, I was like, oh, this is kind of bright, I don't know. It's always when you think you look bad, somebody else sees you different. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so I'm here looking at the coconut milk. I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like. All right, so. Let me see which coconut milk I'm gonna get. Let's see. I got cream coconut at home, but it's not. Cream coconut. See, this one is coconut cream milk. Sugar, water. See, I can't get nothing with all the sugar in it. So let me see how much sugar is in here. 18 grams, that's a lot of sugar. So, evaporated coconut milk. Let me look at this one. This one seems like this would be it. Water, coconut cream, 12% cane sugar, once again. But this is only three grams of sugar. That's not too bad. I might be able to work with that. But I'm gonna look at some of the other ones and see. This one has two grams in it. No gums, thickeners or stabilizers added water potassium contains sulfites for preserving i don't know about that all right this one is from thailand i don't know why i say jamaica on there though hold on i'm a little close to the camera all right so the sugar so they all have like oh this one has no sugar zero added sugars and I'm, I'm looking at the ingredients for color so that's zero sugar the other one is how much sugar is in that one total sugar is two grams let's see who would ever thought getting um, coconut milk would be so difficult okay hold on it's a lot of shit in this one too much too much weird stuff in that one <sighs> this is a headache i usually get the coconut cream this is what i usually get this it's like the hard it just seems more real to me i actually have some at home maybe i should just use what i have and stop being picky this only has cream coconut in there i think that's what i'm gonna do I'll just use what I have at home instead of buying more. So I will walk away from here and <laughs> um, go to the nut section. Now I'm hoping I can find some cashews there that's unsalted. Um, if not, I'll just wash the salt off the cashews. And the recipe calls for smoked pa paprika, pap paprika, but um, I have regular paprika at home and it does say that you can use that if you can't find smoked paprika. So let me see if they have smoked paprika. I didn't even know that was a brand or a flavor, <laughs> but I do have liquid smoke at home, which I don't really like to use because I just, it's just something about it that tells me, I don't know that I shouldn't be using it. <laughs> so let me see. So far, I don't see smoked paprika here. See, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at. So yeah, see, regular, I'm gonna go down. You guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. I don't see it, but I'm gonna buy some Mrs. Dash with no, with um, with no salt to just make sure I get a good flavor in my soup. So let me see what kind of Mrs. Dash they got here. They got table blend, savory, garlic and herb, everything but the salt, original season blend. I'll do the garlic and herbs. Seems like it'd be good for the soup. Um, all right, I don't see the smoked paprika here, so I'm going to use my liquid smoke that they say um, in the recipe. 
Um, let me just check one more time. Paprika. All right, I don't see it, so it's so, all right. I'm gonna move right along and I'm gonna go into the nut aisle real quick. All right, so let me show you guys. I got a section called fruits and nuts, as you can see. We got fruits and nuts, so let me see what they have here. This is a new section. They didn't have it labeled. Oh, here go the cashews right here. Sorry, uh-huh, sorry. Okay, oh, they got the raw cashews. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these raw cashews, the organic raw cashews. Who knows if they're organic, but I always say that. <laughs> I don't know if I should get roasted and salted. Mm. Now, I don't need no additional salt, so I'm going to just go ahead and get the raw cashews, and then I'm going to blend them up. According to the recipe, that's what it says, so I'm going to blend a little bit of that. All right, so I can't do no big shopping right now because I got to get back home. I just came to get my recipe for my soup, um, and I'll be making this soup tomorrow, and I'll be drinking it probably for the next four days see how it hopefully it turns out good even if it doesn't turn out good I'm gonna still drink it because I'm not gonna waste my food <sighs> I think it's gonna be good because Stephanie said it was good um so yeah all right guys so I think that's it I have the red peppers that they recommend to go in there I already have the red bell peppers at home um so I don't I hope I still have some left. I wonder. But I got bell peppers in my garden too, so I might just use what I have in my garden. So I'm trying to think. I think that's it. It was a very basic recipe. It didn't require a lot. Um, so I think I'm a, oh, I need some bottled water. So let me run and get the bottled water. And then after that, I'm about to bounce. Um, let's see, we got avocados back. I think I'm running low on garlic, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get a clove of garlic. I really don't like this kind of garlic, but I don't like this kind of garlic. I wonder if they have the garlic that's loose that you can pick yourself. So let me see if I can find that. See, this is the lifestyle of a healthy vlogger. And these are the kind of things we go, we, you know, we go through, you know, we find healthy, recipes online we, we make them we try to find healthy vegetables and food in the store sometimes we can't find it you see i'm in the produce section right so that's how it goes yeah and i planted some corn at home but my corn is not ready yet it should be ready soon it shot up the other day but i feel like i'm not watering I've been neglecting my garden a little bit and I'm not watering it as much. So, um, yeah, I gotta get it together. Gotta get it together. Cause my, my garden is supposed to be a year round garden. So I'm supposed to be going hard these next few weeks, you know? So that's, that's pretty much it. But nope, they don't have the garlic that I'm looking for. So, how much is this garlic, by the way? A dollar eighty-nine. Not too bad. I feel like I've been skimming on garlic because I don't, I don't have any. I have garlic to plant, but I haven't planted it yet. It's not going to be ready for months. So I'm going to have to keep buying garlic for a while, unfortunately. But my husband told me not to buy garlic like that because um, 
he saw a documentary on how they grew the the garlic in china and um oh that garlic i think this garlic is made in china let me see i don't know it says pennsylvania but that doesn't mean it wasn't grown in china but it has that same kind of look anyway he said not to buy it because um it's something messed up about it <laughs> but it's it's actually the ones that say made in china but i don't know I don't know if this one is, it doesn't say, but it looks like the same kind of garlic. But I'm not going anywhere else right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. And then, oh, they got little lunch bags here. I might get one for my son. All right, so right now, I'm gonna go get another case of water because our water is getting low. see water then went up too water. I think I might buy some more mineral water mystery potion I'm gonna buy some more mineral water. And I think I have enough water for my house actually for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. I need to go. I've been going for a while. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm buying real quick. So you see the corn. The mish dashed or all cashews and some mineral water. And that's it, all right? All right, so I'm about to ring up and go home and I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna pre-prep this soup so tomorrow I can make it really fast. All right, y'all, peace.